Welcome to Happy Hour. I'm Crystal and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I'm actually just drinking coffee because I don't feel fantastic. I feel like I'm kind of coming down with something and I actually wouldn't have gotten anywhere today at all but I have errands I really need to run. I've been kind of putting things off. So I decided, well, I'm gonna get ready for that, do my makeup and all that stuff. So I might as well film this Sephora haul that I've been meaning to film for a little while anyway. So some of these things I got in store just after the beginning of the new year and then some I bought pretty much as soon as um, everything, like Christmas has ended and the year had rolled around to the new year. So the first thing that I got is this, um, this tube of Marc Jacobs. It is the New Nudes Sheer Lip Gel, which I think they just changed the name of these because I feel like they used to just be called like the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Shears instead of Sheer Lip Gel. Anyway, I got this. Um, I got it in the color Eat Cake, which you can see right there. Obviously, these are all, even you can just tell from the tube, these are all um, basically nudes. So, this one is like a, a peachy, pinky nude. Uh, I haven't worn it yet, but I just swatched it here on my hand, and there it is. It's a really pretty color. Um, I don't know how well it's going to... I mean, I, it's going to be a good work color for me. I try to not always be too bold of work. It kind of depends on what's going on. Um, but the, the Marc Jacobs lipsticks, in a general sense, are one of my favorites. I love the just the Lamarck cream lipsticks. They, I feel like they last really long. They're definitely a, like a one swipe payoff, which is awesome. And the shears, uh, again, they, they last a long time, not as long as the, as the cream ones, but they, they do go well because it's not the only color that I have of this. And so I really wanted to get that one. I also saw Estee Lalonde um, put this specific color in one of her monthly favorites recently. And I really liked the way that it looked, so I got that. The next thing that I got is lipstick from Bite Beauty. And this is one of the Luminous Cream lipsticks in the color Zin. So this is a kind of a, like a, a darker color. And so unfortunately, when I got this home, I was playing around with it and swatching it, and it broke. So I have to be really careful with it. So this is what it looks like. And then on my hand... I'm trying to be really careful when I swatch this. Um, this is what it looks like here, right? It's the second one there. And actually in this lighting they look very similar. <laughs> They're not. Um, Zin is a darker color and it's also not a sheer. Um, it is kind of a glossy finish though. Um, so the next thing that I have that I have used is the Bite Beauty um, agave lip mask and I have this one in just the sheer color because they have um, sheer is not a color clear they have a bunch of different colors of these not a bunch but they have probably three and I got this one in, in clear um, it's really awesome it's really thick it smells awesome like just kind of a sweet like a sugary kind of smell which you would expect from an agave thing and I got it because at n I want to wear it at night, which is what I have been doing with it when I use it. And I wear it, uh, I put on, uh, at nighttime I do my skincare routine, I get done with all that and I put a lip balm on and then after I've let that sink in a little bit, right before I go to bed, I'll put this on. And it just helps to lock in the moisture and keep my lips from really drying out overnight because that's one of the worst things, in my opinion, is to wake up with really dry lips that you feel like are going to crack when you open your mouth. Not good. So I really like that. Like I said, I've used that a couple times. Love it. Um, the next thing that I got is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze. Pro Bronze Fusion. I got this in the color 15i. So this is not quite the lightest color that they have. They have one lighter. It was 10i. And to be quite honest, I don't have any idea why I got 15 instead of 10. Um, it's a really pretty bronzer. It's just that normally when I get a bronzer, I usually go for the lightest color because my skin is so fair, so I don't need 
like a darker color to really bronze me up. It just doesn't, it's not necessary. But I got 15 for whatever reason and it was honestly probably an accident because I remember swatching both 15 and 10 in store but I must have just grabbed the wrong one when I grabbed them. And so it's fine. I don't mind. Um, we swatch it out and it's actually pretty, um, it's a pretty light color as you can see right there. And I really like it. Um, I feel like it, it's going to warm me up nicely. Um, you can see it in, you can see it right, right there a little bit. And I mostly got this because I'm always looking for another bronzer because who needs more bronzers? This gal. Um, Wayne Goss said it was among his favorite bronzers of 2015. Maybe it was his only favorite. I can't remember how he was doing that series, but he really likes these bronzers. I really like him. Um, so I decided let's trust him when it comes to that. Uh, the next thing that I got was a, it's just a brush. It is a little, it's the Sephora Pro Precision Smudge Brush, but it's just basically like a little pencil brush. Um, you can see that fine point right there. It's really good for getting in deep, like under your eye or in the corner. Next thing that I got was the Sephora little curved eyelash comb. Um, I have used this once or twice. There's a little bit of mascara smudged in there. But this is, if you can see, um, this is a curved comb. So unlike the ones that you get that are kind of those double-sided ones that have like a brow comb and a, an eyelash comb, um, those are flat and you have to use them sideways, which I am always, so I'm not a careful person, which I have mentioned before. So I'm always in danger of stabbing myself in the eye with those straight ones. So I wanted to get a curved one and you know, I had seen them online, uh, not on Sephora's website, just in a general sense I'd seen them online and then Tati from Glam Life Guru mentioned that she had got this one, specifically that she found it at Sephora. So it has a little um, joint on it that you can bend to like really make this work for however you need to. And um, like I said, I really like it because you can just get in, it's nice and curved for your eye. If you're gonna stab yourself with this, you really have to come at you like straight on, which would be crazy. So it's a lot safer for someone like me who is a dangerous person to myself when it comes to things like this. Uh, the next thing that I got was, I got two of these actually. I got Marc Jacobs, what are these called? The Highliner Gel Crayon. Um, I got these two colors in kind of like a champagne-y sort of color and then a bronze. Um, the champagne one I got to see how well it would do with lining my waterline because I have a really hard time. My eyes are really pretty watery. Um, I'm never confident that anything is going to stay all day, but it would be nice if something did stay for part of, you know, a decent part of the day. So this champagne one, which I have used, is really pretty. I swatched these in store, which is why I ended up getting them. Um, I don't necessarily like to use just a stark white on my waterline every day. Um, if I'm going to do, you know, if sometimes there are reasons for that, but I don't necessarily like to do that. So here is the swatch of it. Um, you can see kind of the light reflection of it. And there's little, it's like micro shimmer, almost little tiny bits of glitter in there. It just looks really pretty under my eyes. It makes things really stand out. I'm, it's not what I'm wearing today. So today I have a little rock one on my waterline, if you can even see. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but that's what I have in my waterline today. Not the Marc Jacobs one, but I really like that. And I know that they do have a something specifically for your waterline, but they were didn't have any in store and they're currently sold out online of the white ones anyway. I think they had some black ones, uh, but I will probably eventually get that as well. So like I said, I also got a bronze one. Uh, this is just a really pretty bronze color. 
and I haven't worn this one yet. This is, I just got this to be just a standard eyeliner. I don't typically use, like if I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna line my eyes, most days I either use a combination of dark, like brown shadows, or I will use like a bronze-ish or a brown eyeliner. I don't use black a lot because for me, it's just a little harsh. So I like to use it, uh, I'll use it for a nighttime look, but not daytime, which is, um, you know, when I often am wearing my makeup. So this bronze is just really pretty. It's really, really actually um, pretty pigmented. You can see it right there. And it, again, like, it doesn't catch the light quite like the, um, the lighter one does, but it's really beautiful and just, like I said, so pigmented. They also had, I mean, they had a variety of colors, probably six or so, maybe a few more. But one of them was this really pretty orange that I, I made myself not get that yet. That being said, it is currently in my ongoing cart on Sephora.com. So I will probably end up with it soon, just not immediately. The next thing, moving on to the online stuff, is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, um, Chocolate Bonbons palette. I actually got this sometime in, I want to say maybe the end of November, because it came out in December, I believe, but they had on Sephora.com, they, you, you can often get as a VIB or a VIB Rouge, you can get some products earlier, and so I got this one like two weeks before it actually came out. I, um, I was worried it was going to sell out and I really wanted it because if you look at the colors in here, like look at how beautiful those are. Um, in particular, I really like this pink here, which is called Totally Fetch. And you can see it's a little messy because I have used the palette a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but um, I have used several of these colors and I love everything that I've used so far. So I think it's going to be really, really fantastic overall palette that I will continue to use. And I'm not gonna swatch this out for you guys because I'm sure that everyone has seen a bunch of swatches for this already. But it does smell amazing. And I apologize if you can hear barking in the background. My dog is going crazy. The door is shut now. It was not shut earlier in the video. Um, there are utility guys working across the street. And not just across the street. It's across the street and down several houses, but that to her is the dog murderer because she thinks that everything's a dog murderer. She's scary. She's a high strung little beagle. So on to more of the things I got online. They're in this box over here. Um, this box is, is a pretty big box. Like, um, you can't even see the whole thing because I'm not going to scoot back that far. So, uh, the first thing that I got was this glam glow kit. So, they don't always have these kits available, but they're a really good value in my opinion because this, so this kit has all three of, it's kind of hard to see because it's reflecting in the light, but it has all three of these things. Maybe I can move it over here a little bit. There you go. So it has a full size of the hydrating, a sample size of the, the clearing mud mask, and then I assume, a, I think it's a full size of or maybe it's a travel size of the the thirsty cleanse the hydrating cleanser and then it also has an applicator brush which I have actually never seen before I think they just came out with those anyway this whole thing here was $69 which you know is is kind of expensive but if you know anything about glam glow that is actually the cost of one of their full-size masks anyway um, I love the hydrating mask and I like the clearing mask quite a bit. Actually, I really love the clearing mask, but I find that for me, probably because of the climate that I live in, it dries out really quickly, so a full size of that is actually not necessarily worth my while. Um, so because this was all that stuff for the cost of what would normally just be a mask, I felt like it was a decent enough deal I wanted to get it. I use the hydrating mask maybe once a week because uh, I could use it every day, but I don't really want to spend that much money. Next we have just the latest in my collection of Becca highlighters. So this one is in Opal. I already have Moonstone, I have Champagne Pop, and I have a mini size of Opal already. 
So I'm sure you guys have probably seen Opal before. Um, I, I didn't, I haven't used this yet, so I haven't even taken off the little plastic thingy. Um, so there that goes into the trash. So this is Opal. Like I said, I'm sure you've seen it before. It's a really pretty color. And those of you who aren't comfortable or don't like highlighters, probably you think they all look the same. Because I used to think that too before I actually used them, but they, they are different, <laughs> I promise. So this is, it's just a beautiful, like a, just a goldish kind of color. And I swatch it and kind of blend it out. And you can see it right here above that bronzer. It just is like a nice, well, it's not showing up very well on camera, but it's really beautiful. Just like a, it's almost like a rose gold when you blend it out. And to me, for me anyway, it's a little more intense than like Moonstone. Um, so I use it on days that I want to feel extra glowy. And I even had a, I, so because I have a sample size of this and I liked it so much that I decided to buy the full size. Because if I can, um, I try to, to travel with the, with the travel size of things. So I will often buy a travel size to see if I like it. And then if I do, then I just get the full size and I put the travel one in my um, in my travel case. So that I have it, but then I don't risk breaking or losing my full size ones. So I really love it. And one of my coworkers, when I wore it to work a couple weeks ago, um, he, he said, your highlight is on fleek. Um, he has some college and teenage daughters so I think that's why he said it because he he apparently knows that highlight on fleek is a trend right now so anyway I'm excited to continue using that the next thing I got was the leaf first aid overnight brightening mask I got this because I wanted another brightening actually I wanted a brightening mask I don't have any right now I just have more hydration masks that are overnight masks but I heard that this one was really good. It pre comes pretty highly recommended. So I decided to go for it. So it just smells clean. And it has like little, you can kind of see in there like little micro beads of brightening, I assume. Little capsules of amber, pearl, and gold powder to awaken instant and visible luminosity. Um, those are all like, as we've kind of learned lately, uh, those kinds of metals or elements or whatever you want to call them are really good for your skin. So it should be fun. And if I kind of swatch it out on my hand, it just, I mean, it feels really nice and like soothing. Um, it, you can't really see it. It's right. I put it right there, but again, it's just smells clean and fresh and lovely. Next, I got this or Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. Um, this has a bunch of different things that it's supposed to do. As you can see, if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of into masks right now. It's just that time of year here where your skin needs a boost. It, because of the pollution here, um, it kind of gets trapped in, in the city. It, you have to either leave, well, you have to leave the city in some fashion. You either have to go to the mountains or I fortunately leave, I live north enough that I'm not trapped in the mega pollution, but I work in the mega pollution. So I'm still exposed to it on a regular, like a daily basis. So I'm trying to get things that are going to be good for my skin because my skin is just, it's not reacting well right now, unfortunately. Um, so I'm trying to get things that are going to be good and then also just make things better. So this one has, let's see, it has super absorbent zinc oxide and sulfur, calming camphor, and skin sloughing salicylic acid. So it basically is designed to do a lot of different things in one mask. I haven't tried this yet, so I am excited to see if it's gonna do me some good. You leave it on for 10 minutes and then you're supposed to remove it with a damp washcloth. Um, 
we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping that it does something because seriously, like, uh, this is not a good situation right now. And the next one is actually, it came in this little package here that, so Sephora was having online a thing where if you use it, you use the special code you get to choose one of several different samples. Uh, but they're, they're like deluxe samples and I would go so far as to say they even seem a little bit bigger than that, like a, your typical delu deluxe sample. Um, and all of them were skincare items, so I just picked the Dr. Brandt stuff. Um, the first thing is this Needles No More exclusive Tribland Wrinkle Relaxer. Instantly smooths expression lines. Um, and it says, look fabulous, not frozen. It's a little tube. The next thing that's in this is the Do Not Age or DNA Dream Night Cream. So you're supposed to apply this every night after your Do Not Age Beauty Sleep Serum. And the funny thing about this kit is that the serum is not in it. So I guess I'm not gonna be using the whole system. Anyway, this is the, sorry, it's really, because it's a metallic finish, it's very reflecty, so it's hard to see it. And then the final thing that's in this little pack here is the doc, if I could get it out of its thing, is the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age Time Reversing Cream. It diminishes wrinkles, plumps, and reshapes and you're supposed to just apply it on cleansed skin AM and PM. So I'll be excited to try that stuff and I will let you guys know how this all goes. Moving on, the final thing that I got in this haul, I got online and it is from the Sephora Favorites collection and it's called Quench Your Skin. So this is pretty big and it's reflective so it's kind of hard to see what's in it. But it is, how many products? This is one, two, three. So this is 12 different hydration related products. It includes, it's got the Belief, uh, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and it's a deluxe size, so it's 10 mil. It's got a Bosha Sake Treatment Water to Hydrate and Brighten, and that one is 15 mil. It's got a, a Dr. Jart Ceramid, Ceramidin oil balm? That is a word I don't know. And uh, that's in 10 grams. It's got a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It's 28.3 grams, so that's actually First Aid Beauty, where is that? Um, that's right there. And that's actually a pretty good size. That may be, that's one ounce. So that may be considered a full size. Next is a fresh sea berry moisturizing face oil and that's 15 mil. I love fresh products. They're just a little on the pricey side so I was excited to try that out. It's got the Coors Wild Rose Advanced Brightening 24 Hour Moisturizer and that's in 20 mil. Um, a L'Occitane Pure Shea Butter 10 mil, which is a, it's gonna be a hand cream, I believe. But the Nude Skin Care Pro Genius Omega Treatment Rescue Oil in 10 mil. The Orange, the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask in 30 mil, which is again, that one's right there. Um, Origins usually gives you a pretty big size of stuff, like the, this other mask that I got, obviously this was a, from Origins, and that's um, 100 mil. So, this Origins is, this is a deluxe size sample, but for them, their deluxe size samples are actually like almost, the, I mean, they're essentially the size of a full size of a lot of other things. So I think that's pretty awesome. I'm just excited for that. Um, next we have a Peter Thomas Roth Marine Algae Mask, and it's 15 mil. There's a Shiseido Benefiance wrinkle resist 24 intensive eye contour cream um that one's right there which is again hard to see it is in five mil so that's definitely just like a deluxe sample size shiseido is one of those things i love 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 their products i have i use one of their uh, I use their an spf eye cream by them that i actually don't think they make anymore so when i found that out i have i purchased 
several tubes so that I would have it for a while. And I've had some of their other eye creams. I really love their products, but again, they are so expensive. Like, I can't even describe to you how bad I feel every time I buy a Shiseido product. Ugh. And then the final thing in here is a Too Cool for School Egg Cream Sheet Mask. So it's, it's one sheet mask. And I've heard it's hiding in there, floating around. I have read, no, I've watched someone else's review that had a haul with those in it, but I haven't actually seen anybody do a review on those. So I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but I'm assuming it's going to be good. All of these things are just, I'm just excited to hopefully get some hydration back in my skin and find new products that are going to do a great job because the stuff that I have right now isn't bad by any means. I just, I always want something better. I just can't be satisfied when it comes to my hydration. Uh, but luckily for you, <laughs> this is the end. That's the last thing that I had in this haul. So it's the end of this video. And I would love to hear if you guys have gotten anything from Sephora lately or if you have any skincare stuff that you've gotten that you really like. I'll put that back in the big box. And otherwise, um, you know, cheers until next time. I hope I'm feeling better and I'm going to be drinking something more stronger than coffee. Because I do love coffee. I love, love, love it. But I also would rather be drinking alcohol for my happy hours. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great one and thanks for hanging out with me.